I never have time, it seems, to look at the clouds, or to take time out for myself these days. I'm always running, and sometimes when you try to run away from trouble, you can find yourself running straight into it. That's what happened to me the day I tried to outrun some Roman soldiers. before they find you. I'd stumbled onto a wedding. I felt dirty, grubby, and out of place. I could really do with a wash. Oh, sure. But what is your serving? What happened to the water? He changed it all into wine. <laughs> Pull the other one. I'm Becky. What's your name? Jess. That's my father, Joseph. And there's Jesus. Becky. Come on. <laughs> I found a late wedding guest. He's called Jess. What brings you here, Jess? Well, I'm not a real wedding guest. I was just feeling thirsty. Where are you from? Judea. And where are you heading? Jerusalem. Doesn't give much away, does he? You look uneasy in your skin, Jess. What do you really want? What do I really want? Right now? To rid this country of the Romans. And hot-headed, too. You've given a lot up already, leaving home. Why not go the whole way? Give up your job, give up everything. Follow me. Well, actually, I don't have a job. You ask a lot of questions. Who are you? Well, that's for you to find out. Tell you what, when you get to Jerusalem, come and see me. I'll help you out. I could do with a gardener. I was nobody's fool. I'd want to know a lot more about a man before I followed him anywhere. Especially in these dangerous times. But I decided to travel to Jerusalem, where there was much talk about the man I met at the wedding. And I started my work as a gardener. Jess, Jess, guess what he's done now? Who? Jesus, of course. There were millions of people crowding him. He'd been talking for ages already. But they wouldn't let him go, so he got away by getting in a boat. And, well, a storm broke up. Everyone started panicking. They were terrified. Jesus wasn't afraid. He spoke a few words, and the waters became calm. I didn't want to know. I'd been promised a bonus if my work was good. Are you listening to me? Enough to buy a beautiful coat I had my eye on. He calmed a storm at sea. Becky, are you sure? Ask anybody. I don't know why my dad trusts you. Here, he said to take this to Bethany. What is it? I don't know. I'm not nosy like some people. It was for Jesus, the one who had asked me to follow him. But follow him where? That was the question. He certainly seemed to have many followers who had arrived with each passing day to listen to him speak. God gives us everything we need. So why waste our lives worrying about tomorrow? Take Jess, for example. He needed a job, and he found one. Well, I want the Romans out of my country. Will that just happen? Have faith, Jess. In what? In the Lord. I'd sooner put faith in the sword, and someone strong to lead us against the enemy. There is more than one road to victory, Jess. 
Sorry I went off on her. Don't tell Dada to come with you. You came all the way here by yourself? That's dangerous, Becky. I can't visit your master under cover of darkness like some thief, but he can come here if he wants. You could escort him. Can he be trusted? Yes. Trusted? What was going on? What was I letting myself in for? If your father found out that you went out on your own, I'd be in big trouble. Why so angry? Because I'm worried about you. I was quite safe. Halt! Haven't I seen you before, boy? I don't think so. I live in Jerusalem. Papers. I'm the daughter of Joseph of Arimathea. Shh. Where have you been? To see Jesus. You better tell your little friend to watch your mouth. She's only young. All this talk of miracles. You better not get any ideas, boy. Ideas? By throwing us Romans out of your dirty little country. Now that would be a miracle. Let me warn you, boy. I've never been afraid to use my sword, especially on the enemy. As far as I'm concerned, it's one this peasant boy in Jerusalem. Got the message. Becky, you have got to stop this. You see what almost happened there? Jesus can do anything. He's cured all sorts of people. Blind men, cripples, lepers, ask anybody. Stop it, Becky. It's dangerous. They wouldn't hurt me. No, maybe not. But if they really thought he was that powerful, they might hurt him. Glad I didn't have that letter on me. The Romans were certainly threatened by the growing following for Jesus. And I was finding it difficult not to become involved after he entered my life. You've done well, Jess. Thank you. You've certainly earned your bonus. Give this to him. Don't let anyone else see it. You realize how very special he is. He's going to lead us against the Romans, isn't he? And how's he going to do it, and when? God moves in mysterious ways, Jess. And to his hands only. I was excited and scared. I delivered Jesus' message and was given a letter to take back. What was in it? A plan of the Roman barracks? A list of loyal supporters? Was my master secretly plotting to overthrow the Roman government? Thank you. No! This is blasphemy! Can't you see this is my father's house? No place for counting your money. This is greed. What do you think gives you the right to throw the stall holders out of the temple precinct? Leave them alone. You're religious men. You know it's wrong to turn my father's house into a, a market. Your father's house? The temple? You dare to call yourself the son of God? If you are, give us a sign. Tear the temple down and I will rebuild it in three days. <laughs> Let me go! I want to be with him! How can you believe a man who says he can build a temple in three days? He didn't mean the temple. He meant his body. God's son is a temple because God lives in him. Oh, he's God's son now. That's blasphemy, Becky. If the Romans don't get him, the priests will. They're just jealous! Becky was right. The priests were jealous, and Jesus wasn't helping by making a public display of himself. You'd have to watch out. And if I was taking messages to him, so would I. Could you speak 
Ah, Jess. What's wrong, Jess? You look troubled. What's going on? I, I just want to help. When's something gonna happen? You'll know soon enough. Thank your father for the warning, Bay. I waited and waited, and all I heard were more rumors about miracles. Everybody was talking about Jesus. It couldn't last. Something had to happen. I knew it wasn't going to be something nice. Digging your own grave, boy. Why? I'm not planning on dying. You may not be planning on it, but these things have a way of just happening. I told you once before what happens to rebels. Look, you've got the wrong man. That's what they all say. Yeah. Why worry about your impending death? Your great leader said he's going to raise people up from the dead. Yeah. Been walking on water lately, miss? Yeah. New pet, huh? Daddy said to ask you to the Passover celebration next week. Will you come? Sure. Tell him thank you. This is the lamb that's been chosen for the feast. He's beautiful, isn't he? Very pretty. Look even prettier when he's on a plate, covered in gravy. You're horrible. Never mind. Ask that Jesus to raise him up. Bring him back from the dead. I'd like to raise him up. On the end of my sword. It's just a question of who first. You or him. I'll be watching you. Dig that deep enough. What did he mean? Deep enough for what? Oh, it was just a joke. Tell me. He meant for me. He's got an in for me, I'm afraid. He wants to kill you? If he does, Jesus will make you alive again. Becky, it doesn't help spreading these rumors. I'm not. He told me himself. Told you what? He'd save us from death. How? He said I'd take the guilt of everyone else on himself and pay for it by dying. He'll save us, Jess. Not just our bodies, but our souls. So this means I can live forever? Yes. You really believe this, don't you? I just can't see why anyone would go gladly to their own death. I mean, what good's it gonna do? How's he gonna fight off the Romans then? You're so stupid. I'd given up hope of Jesus starting an uprising against the Romans. And I'd become a marked man by trusting in him. And then it happened. Make way for the king of Israel. Make way! Whatever's the matter. Jesus is coming. It's the king. He is. What's happened? It started. Jesus has started the uprising. Stop, Jess. No. Stay out of this. I'm going. Jess. Becky. follow Jesus. In the eye thought it would be on the battlefield. I didn't understand. I stuck my neck out for him. He didn't want to know. It was the night of the Passover feast. I got dressed to join the family. I had no appetite for food or for celebrating. Jess, we're waiting. Is Jesus there? No, he's eating with his friends. What's wrong? I've lived my whole life under the Romans, being ordered about, bullied, kicked. Becky, I really thought he was going to be the one to lead us. Throw the Romans out once and for all. He will, Jess. But killing's not his way. He says we should love one another. Love? 
That's all he ever talks about is love. You should tell that to the Romans. I wish you could see a miracle. Come to dinner, please, for me. What is it? What's wrong? They're going to arrest him. Tonight. They're going to arrest Jesus. He was betrayed by one of his own friends. Jess, come back! This is the man you want! God's will. Jess, I was worried about you. You ripped your coat. Some uprising that was. He just let them take him. He went like a lamb to the slaughter, Becky. He wouldn't even let us fight. Put your swords down, he said. I was lucky I wasn't arrested myself. I was willing to die for him. Jess, Daddy's been called to an emergency meeting of the council. The chief priests want Jesus to stand trial. I told you, he's just making trouble for himself. This is what they've been waiting for all along. They'll take him before the Roman governor by morning. And then... What does it all mean, Becky? Why was he gathering supporters? For what? And why the triumphal arrival in Jerusalem? If he wasn't proclaiming himself king, then what was he doing? It just doesn't make sense. Want to know what he told me? He said, my kingdom is not in this world. Well, he's made sure of that. <laughs> All night it went round and round in my head. What do you really want? To rid this country of the Romans. Everything. Follow me. Dig in your own grave, boy. <laughs> Jess. Jess. Yes, Master. What's wrong? The governor is going to ask the people if they want to spare him. Otherwise, uh, they're going to kill him. The people won't let them kill Jesus. He's too popular. Crucify him! Crucify him! I couldn't understand why a man who solely talked of peace and love was so despised and mistrusted. I waited with Becky while Joseph went to find out what was happening. Father, Father, what is it? Becky, I need to talk to Jess for a moment. But Jesus, where's Jesus? Please, my child. What's happened? Jess, they whipped him through the streets. They made him carry his own cross. And they crucified him. They crucified him with common criminals. Why did he fight? He could have saved himself. He's betrayed us. Come now, Jess. Becky will need you. We should all be together at a time like this. Mm -hmm. 
His followers laid him in a tomb. Soldiers came to guard it. They did not want anyone taking the body away. During those next dark days, Becky was inconsolable. There for you. so betrayed. I believed everything Jesus said was worth fighting for, but I was soon to discover that there was another way. someone here to see you. They're waiting outside. What is it? What do you want? It was a long time before he was able to speak. And then he told us an amazing story. I thought I was dreaming. He was dead. I saw the body with my own eyes as they took him from the cross. I watched his followers seal the body in the tomb. He was dead. But then, he was standing there in front of me. Alive. Not after what I saw. If they catch me, then they'll execute me for desertion. Bless, friend. And you. Becky was right. Love is stronger than hate. Love can change people. Hate can only kill. What was certain was, that morning, I had seen my own tiny miracle. And I discovered that faith is not about seeing and then believing. It's about believing, and then maybe all of us will be able to see. <laughs> <laughs> 